Okay, so today we have something a little bit ridiculous that we're gonna be taking a look at. And this is something I did say I was gonna pass on and I did wind up buying. I sat there and looked after I talked about this in a video and I was like, you know what? These are so damn unique. I'm just gonna pull the trigger. These are from 8BitThos like 11th anniversary sale that they had going on and they put up these limited edition all metal controllers. They had a silver and a gold edition. And I, I was just like, you know what? I don't have any wired 8BitDo controllers right now. And these are just so weird and unique. I'm just gonna pull the trigger and buy them. And I bought a bunch of other controllers as well. I haven't received any of them. It was weird. These were shipped from, I believe it was like either New York or New Jersey in the US. And I got them like a few days ago. I just been sitting on them. I just had other things to do, but yeah, I've had these for a little bit. The other controllers I bought from them, they shipped from like Hong Kong or China. I still haven't gotten them yet. But yeah, I did pay for these. I bought these. This right here, I'm, I, I'm bringing this up for another reason. This, the metal analog pocket, I traded for. I didn't buy this. I don't recommend buying this. It's ridiculous. Uh, I traded stuff that I didn't pay for, so essentially I got this for free. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because I, I thought about it. When these were announced, it was a day later that Analog announced these things. It's a weird coincidence, but the reason I bring that up is because Analog and 8-Bit, though, they're like, they're, they're together. They're, they're almost the same company. I, I don't know. Not really, but 8-Bit, though, their CMO is Analog's CEO. So they're, they're so damn tight. I don't know. Maybe they planned that or something. Maybe these go, like, very well with the uh, stupid metal analog pockets. I, I don't recommend buying now those things. 500, that's freaking stupid. These were expensive, but nowhere near that. But I, I don't know. These things are neat, man. They look neat. I haven't opened them or looked at them yet, but um, I, yeah, I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're going to check these out. I'll probably tear one down as well. Let's take a look at the uh, construction of these things. But yeah, let's kind of change the angle a little bit and take a closer look. So silver and gold, these things like, man, right after I, like they put these up, they sold out. They sold out like right away. I didn't, I don't even know how many they made. Look at that, look at the presentation. Even though there's like these weird creases in the, the box on the inside, I didn't even know it was like gonna be, I thought this was just gonna open up, but no, like kinda like a jewelry box. Like that is cool. Oh my God, everything except for yeah, like the, the uh, select and start, those are not metal, but everything else is metal. Oh my God. Holy crap. This is a freaking, this is a heavy ass controller, dude. This is not going to be practical. This is dope though. Oh my God. Like there's like black stuff on the cable, probably from whatever the foam in there. This is freaking heavy, dude. Oh my God. They have like torque screws in there. Uh, designed by Guowo. Do you see that? Oh my God, it's so shiny. Shenzhen. One bit dough. Tech Co. This thing is beastly heavy, dude. The D-pad is metal. The analog sticks are metal. This feels freaking nice, though. Holy crap. Oh my God, this is stupid, but awesome. So it is a USB wired controller. Can you adapt this to a, a Bluetooth controller? I mean, a lot of you may be able to, but there could be like interference. I saw a lot of people in the comments, like were saying that, and that makes sense. Like they wouldn't do an all metal controller that's wireless because there could be interference. That's probably why they didn't do that. They just did a wired one. This is freaking heavy. I'm gonna weigh it. I have a scale. We'll weigh it in a moment. But what else is in here? Anything? Just a little manual. That is it. Just a little basic instruction manual. Okay. Just multi-language instruction manual. But man, this, look at this. This is nice, dude. I'm being honest. I'm, I'm glad I bought these. I know I said I was going to pass on it. I said they look cool, but I thought they were expensive. These are $100 each. But I mean, a lot of their controllers, you know, you're paying $30, $40, $50 for a controller. 
but for a wired controller, this is just something special that, I mean, will they ever do something like this again? Maybe, but that's crazy. Okay, here's the gold one. Oh, look at that. Not as shiny though. Not as shiny. Okay, the cable's gold. Nice. This one is not as shiny. They, they match like the, um, the, uh, the button, you know, the select and start. So gold. And then the other one was silver. Yeah. This one's nowhere near as shiny as the silver one. Yeah, I got some of that. I'm going to have to wipe that up. Like it's kind of scuffed up, like not scuffed, but it's like some of the black from the packaging wiped, wiped on there. There you go. Designed by Guowo. They have like torque screws in there. And the cable, yes, does have the little 8 bit though logo on there. Oh my God. I, I think I like the silver one better than the gold one. So if I'm to open one, this is heavy. Okay, I'm going to get a scale. We're going to weigh it. And then we're going to disassemble. I'm going to disassemble this one. I don't want to mess anything up. There's nothing else on the box and on the actual sleeve. Didn't really say anything else on there. Just says the same stuff that it says in the back of the uh, controller designed by Guowo, made in China. That's about it. But it, I, I mean, I don't think I'll mess anything up, but uh, I, I'm gonna open this one. It's my least favorite, but yeah, I'm gonna get a scale. Let's weigh it and open it up. Okay, so I got the scale out. Let's put the controller with the cable on there. 12.8 ounces. That is a, a heavy boy. Let's try to weigh it without the cable on there, just kind of hanging off. So that might be an ounce or two. 11.4 ounces without the cable. 12.8 ounces with the cable. But check this out. So this is the 8BitDo Pro 2, the Bluetooth controller with the handles. Same, you know, same style as this, right? But just bigger with the handles, the back buttons and everything. A bigger controller with the battery. Like in there, right? <laughs> Check this out. 7.9 ounces, 7.8 ounces. Dang, dude. So yeah, this is a this, this is a heavy boy. The heavy boy. It's 12.8 ounces. All right, let me get my screwdriver and open this up. Okay, so there we go. It was a uh, T6 Torx bit to open this up. Let's see what she looks like on the inside. Okay, so we got our little rumble motors on the side there. This is uh, the other half of the shell. Okay, so we are going to have to go a little deeper. Some screws there. Yep, all metal. <laughs> Very cool. Just Alps, Alps sticks in there. And then we got a couple more, a couple more screws, damn it. So that's just for, you know, the main board with the shoulder buttons that depress and, you know, they hit the contacts on the board underneath there. I'm not going to take it all apart, just some basic stuff. And then just the ribbon cable for the analog sticks connect underneath there. So that's all that is. And then the membranes for everything else. So the select and start is just your standard stuff, but then everything else is going to be metal construction for the D-pad, which some people may think, it, it, I mean, and it probably could wear out these uh, membranes quicker with, you know, heavy use. But the good thing is, is um, these membranes are easily replaced. I, I mean, that's not going to be an issue at all. All the buttons, uh, there's even like a little, like a little silicone or rubber mat around them there. But yeah, I, I could see that definitely 
this could wear out quicker. That is for sure. Were these buttons um, metal too? I think they may. Yeah, these are metal as well. The little star. Okay, I'm gonna get this reassembled and we'll test it out real quick. Okay, so I've already been using this uh, metal controller for a moment, this limited edition 8-bit though, and I, I do have some things to say about it. I do like it, but there is something. Now, if you have weak baby hands, it is heavy, so like you probably won't be able to use it for very long. So if you have one on, on its way to you, you know, keep that in mind. Or if you look for one on the secondary market, or if they do these again, yeah, they are heavy. But um, D-pad feels fine, feels great. Buttons feel great. I could do my, I mean, I'm getting my ass handed to me right, right at this second in this game, but I could do my Hadoukens, my Dragon Punches, no problem, all that stuff, right? It feels great. Response is fine, all that good stuff. But the second that I, I start to use the analog stick, it does not feel good at all. I, I mean, it feels, honestly, it feels like, and it is, it's grinding. It's metal on metal. <laughs> it is metal on metal around the edge. And it's already like, it's scratching. You know how on a plastic analog stick, you'll start seeing white, like on a black stick, you'll see white around the middle. This, it's, it feels like it is grinding and it, it just doesn't feel very, very good. It doesn't feel very responsive either. Like it just doesn't, doesn't feel right. Now you can easily like replace that. Like if, if you like the controller, you could easily um, pop in plastic ones. Like 8-Bitdo sells, sells them for this controller. You could do that. Um, you know, that's fine. It'll work. But yeah, the metal on metal, it feels so freaking bad. But everything else about it feels great. The D-pad, the buttons, the, the shoulder buttons, the weight. Yeah, it is, it is heavy, but it actually feels pretty nice. Just the analog sticks, I can't use them. I just can't. Like, I want to use this controller because it just it feels so nice. It really does. It's so cool. It's unique, but the analog sticks, it's this is more uh, like... It's more of a collectible, uh, just something unique in your collection. I really like wish I hadn't used it the little bit that I did because it, it grinded away. I'll try to take some close-ups. So I've only used, I played one match before I started recording, um, but I'll, I'll try to take some close-ups. You could see where it, it grinded down, you know, from the, the coating and it's kind of shiny, like a, a ring around. It, it just, and it feels, it feels bad. like. When you're going around, it feels, it's grinding. It's grinding, that's it. Analog sticks suck. Put the plastic ones in if you got this controller, if you get one, swap them out. Put these on the side or put it on display if you just don't ever want to use it, I don't know. But yeah, there you go, those are my thoughts. Cool, looks awesome. Analog sticks, no. Appreciate you guys, thanks for watching. Bye.